Good day, folks. Welcome to Monitoring and Evaluation Made Simple. I'm your host, Coach Alexander. I know for most of you around the world, those who are watching, we are not going through a good period in human history. There's the coronavirus, okay? But that shouldn't stop us from wanting to learn. If you're here in this channel for the first time, I would urge you to subscribe to this channel because I regularly post videos on monitoring and evaluation. I also recently included another segment of my channel which involves monitoring world events. So I call that the M&D Watchdog. You see right now I'm making a lot of videos on the coronavirus and other things I find interesting. So what is monitoring and evaluation? We hear this word a lot, especially in the project humanitarian field. If you're here for the first time and you want to know what monitoring and evaluation is, you've come to the right place because it's really simple, but yet gets complicated along the way because people have different understandings and different ways of how it's applied. But in a straightforward way, so that you don't have to memorize academic definitions on what M&D is. Monitoring is all about keeping track of activities. You see, when you keep track, okay, first of all, monitoring and evaluation is made up of two words. There's the monitoring part and there's the evaluation part. So monitoring involves keeping track of activities that you're undertaking. We undertake so many activities in this world today, so many. And for instance, when you look at yourself right now, what activity are you doing right now? What is that activity leading to? Why are you doing it? All those questions. So in order to keep track of activities, you need to monitor. But then there's the evaluation component, which simply means you want to do an assessment. You want to be able to investigate whether you have achieved your goals. So let me give you a real life example. When you enroll in the university, it could be you go to Cambridge University, it could be Oxford University or University of South Africa. <clears throat> Why are you going to that university in the first place? Your ultimate goal is to get a job at the end of the day, earn good money and have a satisfying life. So let me break it down to you this way. Your objective of going to university is to get a degree and that degree will get you a job and that job will get you better living will make you have a better income and have better standard of living so now what are the activities you'll be doing in order to ensure you meet your ultimate goal which is a better standard of living First of all, one activity you do, you have to be studying really hard. You have to pass your exams. After you get your degree, you need to go looking for a job. After you get the job, you need to work hard until retirement. All those are activities. So now, in each of those activities, you need to be tracking yourself. You need to be monitoring yourself. Am I really doing what I had planned? Those are the questions. That is where monitoring comes in. So now, in order to be sure that indeed so, you have achieved your goals of a better income or better standard of living, that is where now evaluation comes in. That is where now you come in, you evaluate. So it is not so easy in reality because you have all these challenges that come in, 
you may plan something, but not all the time does it come out the way you plan. That's the nature of life. So in reality, M and E is used in every sector of life. Personal life, it can be used in the project humanitarian of a humanitarian world where you have maybe uh, let me give you an example you have these donors these big donors giving money to these organizations to implement programs it can be at that level it can even go to industrial level whereby you are maybe constructing a building and you need to monitor and evaluate whether this building has achieved its intended purpose, whether you've intended. So anything to do with projects, there is need for a monitoring and evaluation component. Even at the central bank, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be surprised that there are M&D experts there, even in the central bank, even in the Ministry of Finance. You have economists who have an understanding of monitoring and evaluation because M and E is hot cake. It's very important. So without even wanting, you know, I don't want you to even feel like you need to master a definition. Just say that M and E is a tool used to learn. And okay, it's a tool that you use in order to learn and improve the implementation of projects simple okay so now if you are new to m and e and you want to build a career out of it i can tell you that because every project requires an m and e professional your market is there there are people who need your skills but a lot of times sometimes Organizations feel that it is just something they can do on their own, but it's not. You need a professional for it. You can't get, a, for example, you can't get a bricklayer to be a, a dentist. No, you can't. You see, so it's the same thing. You see, the M and D's professionals are trained for this kind of job. That is why you find that. If it comes to maybe construction projects, of course the project will, the building will be constructed, but ultimately what do you learn from the whole process of, of constructing that project, that building? That is where M and D comes in, comes in. You want to learn what did what mistakes did we meet, did we face, what challenges did we face, how did we address them? Was it the best way to address it? M and E answers the what, the how, the when, and why, especially the why component. Why are we even doing this project in the first place? Those are the questions monitoring and evaluation answers. You will find that a project can be implemented, but people don't know how to write a project report for it. That is where an M&D professional comes in. So I want, I think I'll end here for now, but if you want to learn more, you want to learn all the nitty gritties, you want to empower yourself with knowledge on monitoring and evaluation, in the description below, there's a link to a Udemy course, which I created three years ago. And you'll see the reviews. The reviews are all positive. All the students that have enrolled in that course have had positive reviews simply because it is simplified and it is for beginners. So if you are interested, please click the link below and enroll for that course at a discounted price. Also, I would urge you to subscribe to this channel. I've been your host, Coach Alexander, and see you on the other side. Bye.